Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how you can use a current sensor to make a digital fuse for your project. So for this video I'm using an ACS712 which is a 20 amp current sensor with a sensitivity of 100 millivolts per amp. And we're only going to be looking at this top half and at 0 amps it outputs 2.5 volts and 20 amps it outputs 4.5 volts. So to use this sensor all you have to do is put it in series with the load that you're driving and the current that you want to monitor and on the other side here we just give it 5 volts ground the middle pin is the output for your microcontroller okay so I've written this simple code to demonstrate what a digital fuse would look like in programming I'll put a link in the description so you can download this if you'd like okay so we want to go ahead and define our variables here at the top and relay pin equals 8 I'm just using that for a relay or MOSFET that I'm going to connect to digital pin 8. Uh, current sensor A0, we're using the analog input pin A0. Uh, constant float threshold current equals 15. This is just the current value I want the fuse to trip at. And you could change that to you know 8 amps, 5 amps, whatever you want that to be. Okay, next we have the sensor reading. This is just a variable to store the values read from the sensor pin. Fuse state, this is a variable to store the state of the digital fuse and we have voltage and current. You notice on the side here we have some different data types. So constant is a constant integer and basically that just is going to protect you against yourself here. If you remember to declare it as a constant integer when it is a value you know that shouldn't change. If you were to accidentally change it in your program it'll give you a warning and you won't be able to compile the code. So this would be identical, it would still work, but it's just a good habit to get into for defining a constant integer as a constant integer. A constant float is the same thing except instead of an integer it's a decimal value that can store up to six or seven digits. And here we have integers that we know are going to change and floats that we know are going to change. Next we have the setup and we're just basically telling the microcontroller that hey digital pin 8, relay pin equals 8, we're going to define that as an output. So 8 is just going to either be high or low depending on what we tell it to do. So this part of the code is only ran once when you supply power to the microcontroller, initializes all of this, sets up the output, and then this is the entire program here. Okay, next we have the loop program, and as the name suggests, it just loops over and over until the power is removed. And I have a while statement here. While fuse state is equal to zero. So basically, I have this set up to where it'll loop this until the fuse is tripped. Once the fuse is tripped, it's, it can't, it's not going to be doing anything until you manually remove the power and re reset the microcontroller. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the raw data from the analog to digital converter from the current sensor and store it into our variable sensor reading that we defined up here. Okay, next thing we're going to do is take the voltage and we're going to map that sensor reading value. Basically we're going to convert the raw values to uh, 0 to 5000 millivolts. And I'll show you why in a second, why, why I chose 5000 instead of 0 to 5. So we're going to convert the analog to digital converter values and then we're going to subtract 2500 because if you remember we were really interested in the voltage above 2.5 because the resolution is 100 millivolts per amp. So once you have the voltage the current is just going to be the voltage divided by the sensitivity. So then we have a an if statement, if the current is greater than or equal to the threshold current we set up here, digital write, relay pin high, and then the fuse state, we, we're going to force that to 1. So basically the program's over and it's not going to uh, do anything else until the power is restored. So yeah, it's a really simple program, but let's say you did do the 0 to 5 for the, the map function like I showed you here and you're, you're mapping that 
0 to 1023. Remember, if you had an 8-bit uh, analog to digital converter, this would be 0 to 255. And if you had a 16-bit, that would be also different. So it depends on the resolution of your analog to digital converter. So let's say we mapped a value x, some variable, from 0 to 1023 to 0 and 5. So it would basically come out to 204.6 per volt. So let's assume the reading from the analog to digital converter was 544. So in reality that would be 2.659 volts. But the math is integer math. So what we end up with is 2 volts because the integer math in C doesn't round up or round down, it just truncates it. So instead of 2.659, we get 2 volts. So if you did that here, which I see that a lot, you're going to be way off on a lot of your readings. So instead we do the 0 to 5000 and 544 equals 2659. Okay, so this is the program, and you notice here I've got comments all along the side, and that's just a really good habit to get into, as well as a lot of these things. You really could have made this same program much smaller, but harder to read. So I've gone ahead and made a separate program that does exactly the same thing, but you can see that this is it much much smaller and it and it does take up much less memory so if you were short on storage you could get away with not using so many variables and different functions you see the other program here was 1920 bytes and this program is 1060 so it is much smaller takes up less memory but it's kind of difficult to read if I were to give this to someone else they, it would be kind of confusing. So basically we have our setup. We're letting the microcontroller know that digital pin 8 is going to be an output and we have our loop and while digital read 8 so this is going to check the status of that 8 while it's low run this. So it's going to do the same thing as the other program did with the fuse state but it's just doing it directly without any variables or anything like that. So while the digital read of 8 is low, we're going to run this little snippet, which basically just says if analog read of the sensor is greater than or equal to 818, which is the same thing as the 15 amps. I've just gone ahead and done all the math ahead of time. And we're just going to write digital write that digital pin 8 Hi. So it's going to open that relay and turn the power to your load off. And that's your digital fuse. So yeah, I think it's a pretty neat little example. And now a digital fuse, you wouldn't want to use a digital fuse as your only method of protection. A uh, regular fuse is still much better. But it's nice to sometimes have a backup to your backup. So. This is, this is nice because you can easily adjust it and let's say you had a 15 amp fuse you could set this to you know 13 or something so you could just kind of have a easy way of not blowing your actual fuses. Okay, I hope you guys liked that video, found it helpful. Feel free to ask any questions below and I'll see you next time.